Hello, welcome to my channel, Renzo here. See, let's paint the portrait. I'm gonna use these synthetic brushes. The colors I'm gonna use are Titanium White, Yellow Ochre, Camion Red, Alizarin Crimson, and Ivy Black. Okay, let's start. Mixing yellow ochre coming red, a touch of black. Let's see the center line of the face. I have this space for mixing my colors. So let's say the center line of the face is going to be around here. Okay, the line for the eyes going to be like here, around here. The eyes is going to be for the eyebrows. One, uh, once I get the eyebrows and the say the chin, that will be here. The bottom of the chin, that would be here. Now I'm going to find the nose just from the eyes. To the for the brows to the bottom of the chin, I'm gonna look for the middle is gonna be for the base of the nose. There. Now let's see the overall shape of the face. face on the be here and the hair okay the neck the ear okay now I'm squinting my eyes I'm gonna paint the light areas of the face and the shadows for that I'm gonna mix Yellow ochre, camion red, white, and black. Let's see. Let's see if the color is okay. I think it's too yellowish. I'm gonna add more red. More black and white. Okay, and just trying to copy and squinting my eyes and just trying to copy the lights. I'm gonna show you I have here a black and white image. Can you see it? Here is of course easier to see the light areas. That's what I'm trying to paint right now. Okay. Hello Fati. Okay. Welcome to my channel. Okay, right right now I'm thinking if this color is maybe too yellowish, too reddish, and maybe if the skin color is okay, if I need to make maybe dark this color a little bit up. Let's continue. Let's use another brush and 
makes more paint here. A missing yellow ochre, a lizard in crimson, a touch of white, and black. Let's see if this color is okay. No, more white, more black. I'm just trying to knock down this color and thinking that I'm gonna add more uh, more saturated color colors on top of this one. I think that's okay. Mm. Yes. Now I squint my eyes again. And I try just to copy the, the shape of this eye from the eyebrow to the bottom of the eye. The same here. The bottom of the nose. Okay. The upper lip like this I'm not using any medium just pure paint okay let's go back to this color I'm gonna prepare more yellow ochre Camion red, white, and black. You know this just mix like mixing just an orange and adding gray. Now I see this color. It's okay. Need what more red? It's too yellowish. more white more black take your time mixing these colors okay always think that on top of these colors we're gonna add more maybe more orangey reddish color Hello Art of Destiny, hello Christine Now I'm checking out, just squinting my eyes and trying to see, uh, let's say, just big, like big masses, this mass, this mass, the nose here, and try to, to see the distance from here to the nose, okay, and from here to the mouth. Okay. I think it's okay. Let's paint a little bit of the hair for the hair I'm gonna use a, a bristle brush this one should be okay this is a number 12 mixing black a little bit of white red and 
lot of blood because I, what I want is a kind of a, a burnt amber color. Hello Deborah, thank you. Hello Cherry. She has a lot of hair. Image. I'm using the image in my in my screen. I'm using this black and white. You know I have a bigger image to my left. Okay, I see. The, can you see? It? I mean, this area is not okay. But let's let me check out the center line of the face. Okay, looks okay. Let's move this a little bit to the right. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up really small brushes. I have these ones here, number zero, both of them are number zero. I'm gonna use this one like like I'm using just a pencil. With this one, let's say I'm going to paint, with this one I'm going to blend. Okay. Let's see. Here's the eyebrow. Here's the other eyebrow. Now, in this whole area, here is the eye let's see in the middle in this area okay now the other one is the same and it's quitting my eyes for to do this I have this and I have the eye in just in the middle of this whole area okay Then one eye, the other eye, let's see the nose. It's gonna be around here. And I'm squinting my eyes and I see kind of a triangle here in the base of the nose. And that's what I try to copy. You see for me uh it works, not always but a lot of time works just to simplify things, just thinking that simple geometrical shapes are rectangle, circle, a triangle. I simplify things and then I it's easy for me just to copy. To copy them. Okay. And of course, I have to measure a lot. I mean, visual measurements. I'm just keeping me me measuring all the time. When I'm doing something like this, I mean, uh, I see the image, the corner of the eye, and if I trace a line to the right, 
something like like this it's kind of uh it's aligned with just with this nostril okay and this nostril is a trace aligned up is aligned with the corner of this eye okay and I can continue just doing that with all the in the area they say the corner of the mouth if I trace a line up it's kind of a line with the tear duct here Just let me erase these lines. Okay, all these lines, of course, uh, I mean, helps me to to draw while paint. Okay, let's use a small brush. I'm just adding white to this mixture. Not too much paint, okay? You can do this if you want. I mean, this is not the time for adding a lot of paint. It's just to establish some colors, the shapes, and draw. Okay, let's see this side. I squint my eyes again, and I'm going to just, let's say that here's the, the white of the eyes, the sclera. See? Okay. Okay, I'm going to step back and check out that because, I mean, it's difficult to to tell that this, this is right or not. Okay, let's put a little bit of light here and the upper eyelid here too. Now I'm going to change smaller brush number four. I'm going to add more white, but it's going to be different to this color. Okay, I'm going to add white, yellow, ochre, and red. I just want, I mean, I don't just want to make this color lighter, I, just, I want to make this color brighter. I mean, more, a little bit saturated. Okay, let's see if this works. Mm. Okay. More layer. Okay, I think it's okay. See more paint. Not using any medium. I want to show you, I have this image too here. Colored image and black and white image. A bigger image to my left, and of course, 
an even bigger image in my screen, in my computer. Okay. Let's make this a little bit lighter, a little bit yellowish. I'm going to blend a little bit. You know, my blending at this at this point at the, this point is for two reasons. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna get the painting softer, and at the same time, kind of uh, soften everything and try to kind of blur, unfocus everything. And I squint my eyes and and try to see if the position of the eyes, the nose and the mouth is correct. Because after this, I'm just planning to add more details. Okay, something like this. The back, I squint my eyes, and I think, I think the eyes. I mean, obviously, the eyes is the most difficult part. I'm not okay. Maybe I should move this eye a little bit up. Oh no! I'm trying just to keep this angle. This, this. I mean, this line for the eyes right okay if i feel that there is a much of a difference like this i gotta just move it that means move an eye up or down okay i'm squinting my eyes trying to check out the relationship between all the lights here this light this light the nose and here you see it from here to here and I think that's okay. Huh? The point that I see right now is just about adjusting the position of the eyes a little bit up, a little bit down. I think this, I can keep this eye here and I move this one. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to use again this brush and I'm going to draw again. Hello Inga1, welcome to my channel. Okay, again. Let's see. I'm going to keep this eye okay, the position of this eye. It's going to be here, it's going to be okay. Well, I hope <laughs> that this, this is going to be okay. Okay, I have, let's say, the eyebrow and the position of this eye. Now, I want to measure from this one to the nose. Mm, everything is okay. Now, I'm going to draw this eye. Okay. Mm, okay, okay. I'm squinting my eyes. If you squint your eyes, but we see something, okay? We are able to see, to compare with the image. I have, I have the color image to my left. I have this one here. And I'm going to be able to, to compare just the shadows and the lights. And that obviously is helping us with the position of the eyes and the nose. Okay, please draw this eye here.
okay mm -hmm. now this is my brush for the white of the eyes And I add red to this mixture and with this dark red I'm going to work on the nose Uh, you see the kind of erasing, blending and erasing at the same time because uh, I, I I just I gotta see I, I gotta do this in order to kind of disappear this. But for me, just after I do this, I squint my eyes and I compare it. I squint my eyes. Bo I mean, watching both images. Okay, I can tell that I. Uh, I should move this area a little bit up okay now the mouth doing the same I gotta look for let's say the distance from here to here try to put something that I'm happy with this angle okay I mean, it's going to be kind of, let's say, easier to calculate this because if you see this angle, we're not going to make this like this, okay, or like this. Yeah. Okay, the problem that would be the distance from here to here. To get this distance, okay, I gotta move, I gotta calculate from this up. In this way, I have two measurements to do this one and this one, and the diagonal, okay, angled here. Hello, Rosario, thank you. Hello, Nelida. Nelida is, is telling me, can you speak a little bit about your Zoom paint alone? Okay, I mean, uh, I, my, my, it's, it's just like this, it's kind of the same, but I mean, obviously, you're gonna paint too, and I'm gonna be able to see your painting. Yes, and make a critique. Okay, it's kind of simple. I mean, obviously the process is slower because I gotta wait. I make uh, a lot of pauses for people to uh, paint, uh, for all of us just to uh, be like in the same track, yes, the same level. Let's say I paint for 15 minutes and I stop for 5, 10 minutes. This way, people can paint and then I paint again. After, let's say, a uh, half hour, I check out all the works, all the paintings. I point out some mistakes and then continue painting. Okay, my patron, you're gonna see that I have three tiers. One tier is just four dollars, it's just Saturdays. We paint for an hour every Saturday. Uh, in the morning, I, I'm here in, in Lima, Peru. My time, is, in my time is from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And Wednesdays at night, 
6 p.m. to 7 uh, 30 p.m. And the other tier, the last one, is just for a group of 10 people. Up to 10 people, we paint Sundays for around 4, four to 5 hours. A portrait. We try to finish a portrait. Just each class, I mean, every Sunday. Okay, and I'm stepping back. Check out again. I try to see the overall shape of the face, okay? Everything. Right now, I, f I wanna add some highlights here, like this one. I mean, it's not like, but I wanna add these highlights because I'm just in the, I mean, in the stage of adding the highlights. It's just because I, I want to use this for the drawing aspect of the painting, I mean, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this, you see? Okay, that means I'm just checking the relationship between this one, this one, th that one, okay? That helps me with the drawing, the drawing aspect of this painting. And I, if you have seen my videos, I, I do this all the time. Okay, I'm squinting my eyes. When I squint my eyes, I can see easily this light here. Light. All this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Looks like they are okay. Okay. What else can I use? The lower lip. You see the lower lip? I can make it lighter here. Okay, I'm not thinking about the color right now. I know obviously the lower lip should be pinky. It should be reddish. I'm just trying to draw. Paint and drawing at the same time. Now let's blend. Now, now we gotta think about the reddish areas of the face. You know, we every face have some reddish areas. I'm gonna mix red into this mixture to add it here. See if that's okay. Maybe it's too reddish. Maybe it's too dark. We control this, okay? Okay, that's okay. Remember the nose has always more red. The nose the cheeks, the upper and lower eyelid, and the chin. That's because of our anatomy. There is more blood in those areas, more muscle. That's why the color is more reddish in those areas. I mean, I'm not saying that you have to add a lot of red. I'm just saying that it's a little bit reddish 
than the skin color around those areas, okay? You know that uh, this is about adjusting all the time the color. Here in the forehead is the same, here in the middle, a little bit of reddish. Sometimes, sometimes it's really visible this in some persons and sometimes it's not sometimes we don't see this we just see like a one one just one just one color but you know that the advantage that we have as painters that we can change that we can uh enhance this about the skin colors we can make uh if i see it's a color warm we can make it warmer or cooler we can exaggerate the difference between temperature we can make a color more uh, a skin color more more orangey more reddish in other, word, in other words we can saturate or desaturate the skin color uh, I mean as uh, if we want if we want to do that we can do a lot of things And of course, we can just copy what we see. But I think the amazing thing about painting is the possibility that we have to make changes. I mean, that's the most amazing thing for me. Change even a little, a little bit the colors. That's the amazing thing about painting. I mean, for me, okay? And every time that I paint a portrait, obviously I want I want to change a little bit. Usually it's about the color, of course, because I, I, I always try to get the likeness, okay? The proportion, okay? A natural skin color, and the likeness okay uh, obviously sometimes uh, I mean uh, unsuccessful and sometimes are not but that's the beauty of this is that every time that we paint a portrait is always a challenge Let's see the overall shape again. Let's try to measure the width of the face with the wide, with the height of the face. You can just pick up your brush and measure this, like this. Of course, I mean, the idea is to try to measure, to make a, to make visual measurements. It's up to you. I mean, when I was a student in the School of Arts here in Peru, I mean, I used to measure a lot. That was the first lesson that I remember. My first lesson just was my pick up my brush or my pencil and do this to measure all the time. All the time. I mean, my first lesson was learn to measure and with that is about comparing yes okay can you hear me okay Can you hear me okay? I think I'm having some problems here with my internet connection.
Okay, I'm gonna make some changes here. Stepping back, I think, I think I gotta f work, fix this. Yes. Sometimes it's, uh, it's about uh, values. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker, okay? Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, let's draw again. When I say draw again, drawing again, uh, I mean that I'm gonna pick up my small brush and I use this as a pencil and try to get the form, the shape of the eyes, the nose. Okay, I mean, try to copy as much as possible what I see. Okay. Stepping back, I need to step back, I need to think a little bit about Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna add a listen pins on here and I'm going to work on the mouth. I'm gonna move this a little bit up. Okay. Here again. Okay, I feel I'm getting closer, little by little. You know, this is a long process. Hello, Marilu. Hello, Nelida. Thank you. Hello, David. Hello, Orlando. Okay. Let's continue thinking about the eyes and nose, okay. I'm gonna make more details. I mean, I'm going to stay a little bit more in each area. Let's say right now this eye. This area close to the tear duct is more reddish, it's more transparent. Okay, now I'm going to work on the other eye.
Okay, this area here should be the same, but it'll be reddish. Remember, with it's a little bit reddish here, the upper and the lower lid. Hello, Emma. Hello, Stanley. Uh, Stanley is asking me, do the person know you know you are painting then? Do they have do they have to give you permission or is a paid model? Okay, uh, this is an actress. Well, let's say this is fan art. Okay. I don't remember I don't remember her name. So sorry. <laughs> I should. I mean, I saw her in this movie, jo the uh, the Joker. I don't remember her name. Gemma Contreras is asking me, Renzo is Spanish for you Latin fan. Oh, yes, I, I have a channel in Spanish. I've been working here in my English channel for the last couple of months. And I mean, I'm trying just to, I'm planning to to make live, live streams maybe one day in my English channel and the other day in the Spanish channel. I mean, you know that my Spanish channel have more uh, more videos because this English channel is just, I mean, I started this English channel maybe just a couple of years ago and my Spanish channel is more, has more than, than Oh no, five, five, four years, maybe even more. I'm blending. Oh, Stanley is asking me where do I live? I live in Peru, South America. In Lima, li li Lima, Lima, Peru. At the same time that I use this brush for blending, I just pick up a little bit of the tip of the brush and I just for making just subtle changes. You see like this, I don't apply a lot of paint, just a little bit enough just to make this a little bit darker. Now let's work on the nose. Red, mm -hmm. more yellow ochre. I'm going to make this color a little bit darker. Ok. 
Okay, now in this area, of course, uh, I'm gonna just pay attention to values. There's a shadow here. It should, uh, it should be darker here. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna use another brush. Model one, this one is numbers double zero. And I'm gonna add a little bit of light here. A little bit of our reflected light here. Hello, Crisalida. Hello, how are you? Thank you. Hello, David. Okay, man, thank you. Squinting my eyes again. I think that's enough working on the nose for now. You know that I work, I usually work from up to bottom, uh, um, from the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and then I go again the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Okay. I don't try to finish. Right now I'm working on the nose and I see some mistakes on the eyes. That's okay. I'm gonna continue working on, on the mouth. I'm gonna change the color a little bit here. Areas are a, bit, a little bit lighter, and I gotta keep a difference here. Here's lighter, and it get that it gets dark as it's getting into the mouth. Okay, I gotta pick up a lighter color because I need to paint a little bit of her teeth. Mm -hmm. 
stepping back okay I need to add this light around the upper lip Okay, step back. Now, again, let's work on the eyes again. Now, when I, I work on the eyes, they move to the, the nose and the mouth. I have time to check out the eyes, the nose. Yes, I have time. Now, I go back to the eyes uh, because when, when I was working, obviously, the mouth, I was watching the eyes and the nose. Now, I see some things that I, ha I have to... Uh, fix. I need to add more light. Let's say here. And uh, okay, let's let's do that. And that happens the same with the nose. I mean, where I'm working on the eyes, I see the nose, and I see maybe or maybe I should add more light here. And I keep like take note about that. And as I soon finish working on the eyes, I go and I make some changes to the nose. All right now, I mean, I didn't mean to that I'm gonna finish the eyes right now. No, you know that uh, I go like this, like four or five. I don't know. I don't even know. I mean. Uh, maybe six times maybe I, I mean I don't count that but I try just to keep the process I mean if, I, uh, if you uh, start your painting with a really precise drawing and if you are very careful with the drawing that would be different, yes. But you know uh, that my own challenge is just draw and paint. That's why I do this because I need to see the face little by little. I cannot just go and finish and try to finish up any area. I mean that I don't even sure. I'm not even sure about any area that's gonna be okay because I usually go back and forth making corrections okay, right now I'm just thinking about values making this a little bit lighter and here too okay checking out where here there is a little bit of light Now I need to add some dark red here. 
this the, the tear duct I'm going to add the highlights, the eyes, I mean in the iris. I usually do this just for, uh, it brings more life to any person, to any portrait. And it's just, I need to, to see this. And sometimes, I mean, I erase these uh, highlights just in a minute because I need to work again on the eyes. But I need to see this to compare to, for the expression. Okay, okay. Let's work on the nose. So you want to add more light here. To the tip of the nose. Here too. Obviously, these are. Uh, uh, sometimes I, we make a mistake when we add a highlight. We do this, we add this highlight and we use the same color for this area, let's say. Okay, and that's, this, uh, that's different, we gotta change this a little bit. Pick up a darker color for this area. It could be a little bit darker, it could be a little bit duller. This grayer, oh, I mean, it should be different the, I mean this one should be brighter or brighter I mean yellowish any color that you, you choose but it should be more more pure uh, of, of course it has a lot of blood a lot of white sorry yeah. okay Okay, 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 let's continue, I'm stepping back. Mm, I'm trying getting this area right. I still need to fix things. Uh, I know that I need to... I mean, I'm, right now I'm thinking out loud, okay? Let's, uh, let's see, I mean, uh, what I'm thinking is I gotta darken this a little bit. I gotta make a little add a little bit of reflected light here okay i gotta work here in the globella i mean the middle this area this is like the way i take notes okay now i see this area the face you know that i work usually here and later in the process i fix the uh overall area of the face, okay. Okay, again, let's go with the mouth. I'm picking and just mixing this dark red color. I'm gonna need to put this dark here. To do this, I gotta see from here to here. And I try to just do this, see if uh, the wind of the nose is aligned 
with the corner of the mouth maybe it's tilted a little bit down okay we gotta measure that maybe maybe now that i see that maybe i should move the wind of the nose a little bit up maybe i'm thinking out loud right now you know that we usually uh measure uh, one part and things we are moving little by little the nose the mouth the eyes we move the they say i move this a little bit i can move a little bit the nose Let's work on the mouth for a little bit. Okay. I have this. This will be a little bit darker. You see the image? I mean, there is a link to the image in the description box. You see, this is really dark in the image really dark it looks like even black here i'm not gonna get to that black okay to that i prefer this to be a dark red color even here you see that it's really dark i i don't go dark because i feel i feel like my painting is gonna get a uh, that 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 high contrast i mean those darks are just going to hurt the whole face it's gonna i don't know how to explain it but i love uh i try all the time to get some softness on the face that's why i blend uh usually uh, i soft the the edges sorry not blend i mean i soft the edges okay that's why i usually don't get don't i don't try to get to this uh the this uh high contrast i mean i, I mean about these areas about this i mean because I, that's kind of easier just to follow the image and pick up just say pure black and do this just pure black i mean i don't want to do it even as i see it even when I see it, I don't, I don't, sometimes I, I did it, sometimes when I feel that it's really necessary for, because the image maybe has too much contrast and uh, maybe I'm, I'm not able to get the likeness or I'm having some problem with the drawing and I need to see more. In that occasion, I decide just to go really dark with some areas. Let's add some highlights to the lower lip. Okay, okay, okay. the comments okay all oh, you're speaking in the comments about painting you just you only need three colors to start <laughs> yes what are you painting on I'm painting on canvas this is canvas I mean I use the whole canvas I use this portion as a palette 
Yes, I, I used to do this because I, I, I mean, for me, every time that I do this, it's like having a clean palette. Mm. Okay. Okay, so it's telling me that the link for the image doesn't work. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I mean, I just copied the link. I think I will check out that as, as soon as I finish the video and I, I will try to correct that because to be honest I just copy and paste the link I didn't check out that that was working or not Okay, let's blend. For blending, I'm using this brush. This is a round brush, number two. You know that uh, I keep my old brushes, usually the round brushes. I keep the round brushes for blending. I mean, when this new, the brush, is possible to, to blend. But after a few time when the brush is just kind of uh, ruined I mean it's not gonna be useful anymore uh, like for the purpose for I mean the way that we use a round brush it's not gonna be useful anymore that's when I use these brushes for blending okay I think I got the expression or I'm getting close. Okay. This work again on the eyes. You know that this is back and forth. Now I'm stepping back and able to compare more and able to see more mistakes. Okay, I'm gonna mix just black and white for working on the white of the eyes you know that all the painting is wet I mean this black and white, this grey color is, is gonna get mixed here every time that you paint the white of the eye remember that you paint in a sphere it's not something flat And check out about the, the light of the face and usually one is clear it's gonna be darker in this case this is darker than this one I gotta think about that I'm gonna make this a little bit darker okay that's a common mistake make this really white okay remember what I told you about the things that I was checking on the face this is one of the things I gotta make this a little bit lighter okay just little by little okay Okay, that's enough. Here, here a little bit lighter. Be careful with some areas. You know that there is some reddish areas on the face and here the upper lid have to be reddish that means that this area should be reddish this area that I'm working on because if you add red to everything 
I mean, if you, if you have too much red everywhere, you won't see any red anymore. I mean that in order to keep this reddish, the upper lid, we have to keep this around the upper lid, let's say kind of greenish or grayer. I mean a little, it's just, I mean, I, I'm speaking about things that are really subtle. Okay, again, I gotta work here. change this brush okay more black here this is darker okay now this is darker too i'm planning to come back here to this areas and add really more black maybe it's gonna add really black black I mean to the uh, eyelashes, so that area. Okay, remember, don't paint the eyebrows like or uh, black all the way from here to here. I mean, there is always this area. This is darker. This area is a little bit lighter. Okay, that's. That's because of uh, the anatomy of the face, the anatomy of the skull. The skull, I mean, the bone is, uh, it has a change here. It goes from here and up here. There is a bump. And that's why it's getting more light here in this area than this area. That's why usually this is darker and the other area is lighter. Let's see. I'm stepping back. Stepping back, trying to check out the likeness. Uh, okay, now that I step back, um, I think I'm having problem with the width of the face. I'll be back. I will be back to that to check out that. Okay. Okay. Hello, Monique. How are you? Hello, T. Tala. Hello, Semil. Okay, let's continue working. What else I was checking about the eyes? I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. And this is gonna be back and forth, okay? Uh, you're gonna see me may maybe making this darker and maybe in the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna come back here and light up that area. And that's normal, okay? That's part of the process. Yes, yes. The process is 
imply, uh, implies a lot of retouching a lot of retouching a lot of going back and forth okay, this brush is number okay it says like five on zero five slash zero but it's, it's just like for me it, this is like a, a zero 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 brush uh, a triple zero brush Okay. Let's soft this. I think the reflected light here is, is too light. I'm gonna just darken dark this a little bit. Okay, got a blend here. Okay. Now the mouth. I gotta light up this upper area of the upper lip. Okay, I think this better. I see a shadow here and it goes like this and here too. Okay. Okay, okay. Always remember that here there is a bump because of the muscles that all the muscles just coming like like a spider net to this area spider net spider web Okay, I'm choosing to grade down this color here and use more red here. I mean, why? Because obviously I want this area to pop forward. Okay, and if I add, let's say, red here much red I mean I'm just going to make this area at the same time to to pop forward and I don't want that there is a point that we gotta start thinking about little subtle subtleties uh, like this like when to choose a more darker color more brighter color more saturated or desaturated color, more warmer or cooler color. Okay. There is a point of the process we then then we start making all taking we start taking all those decisions about color. 
not at the beginning you know at the beginning is so simple try to keep always simple the beginning that's what I do I mean I keep the, be the beginning with just two colors still here this one and this one I need to step back and check out okay hello David uh, I'm gonna just see if somebody's asking me something okay okay oh Monique yeah we are uh, saying we missed you Friday in early today yeah, Friday that was I was busy and I was really busy and today that was the same at the morning I was just waiting for half a free time to paint and it, it, I couldn't do it it was getting late getting late it was oh my god I think I'm gonna paint today late and late and late and now I just got some free time now I'm painting here. You know, it's, I mean, it's kind of late for YouTube, I think. But for me, it's, it's really good. Okay. I mean, you know that mostly a lot of painters uh, love to paint really late. Really, really late. Like... Yes. and for me it was like that for for years when I was alone yes? when I when I didn't have any family I used to wake up like at, I don't know 11 or 1 p.m <laughs> and I just paint like for the whole night until I, I remember at 5 a.m I was just going to sleep. It's just so quiet. Nobody, nobody calls you. Okay, now it's different. Okay, because I mean, since I have uh, my kids, my family, everything changed. I mean, I, and uh, I used to take, took my kids to school. Daily, yeah. That means that I had I had to be really awake, really early, and okay, okay. Uh, I'm having a problem here in this area. Hmm. Hmm. Right now, I'm gonna just leave it that area like that because I need just to think a little bit more on, on this area. Okay, maybe I'm gonna add more shadow. Okay, let me step back. I uh, I 
gotta think, I gotta, I gotta try to see her, her expression. I mean, that's the, the important thing about the, the likeness, yes? And about her, especially about her, because uh, her, 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 her mou mouth and her, oh, especially her, her mouth, I think. Her mouth just give a different expression to her face. I mean, it's like, uh, I mean, the eyes are always important, but in this case, it's like without the mouth, the mouth, <laughs> mouth, without the mouth is it's not her. Okay, it's just if I cover this, it's not complete. I mean. She has a, a, lot, a lot of expression uh, on her mouth. Just paint a little bit of the hair while we, I take a rest from the face. Uh, when you paint a la prima, uh, try when you paint the hair, try to just not to see the face. Try to. It's just, I mean, it's really necessary to for us to take a rest, always. And I always take the opportunity to rest my eyes when I'm painting the hair. The hair. I mean, I mean, I mean from the from the face, yes. I try really hard not to see the face. going to move this image a little bit
I'm going to put the image back in a minute. Okay, I'm going to read the comments. Uh, okay, uh, David, okay, Tala, I always end up with wrong nose, eyes and mouth position, any solution, Renzo. Okay, okay, like a, a solution, like, um, Mm, there is not like a magic solution for you know this is a longer process what happening is that you uh, you need to practice first a lot of drawing but uh, basically about the proportion of the face and the position of the mouth the nose and the eyes you know, for that the Loomis method is really effective, effective, really good, really simple, and uh, the Loomis method, eh, what this gives you is, I mean, what you end up having with the Loomis method is all the proportion is your head because it's mostly about drawing by memory, and once you have all the information with you, like. No, is uh, is part of your knowledge. I mean, you're not gonna rely in what you in what you see. You're gonna rely in what you know. That's gonna be easier for you to control that. I mean, put uh, keep the position of the nose, the mouth, and the eyes in the right place. Okay, there are two methods that. I mean, the, the basic methods are really effective. The bark, the bark method is for copying, and the Loomis method is for drawing by memory. We need both. We need both. You know, we we cannot rely just in copying what you what we see. Okay, we need to rely in both in what we see and what we know. Okay, see you later. Stanley, Stanley Jet is going to play poker. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> uh, okay, do you think her smile looks a bit wider in the photo? Okay, now that you said that, yes, I think it does. Yes, 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 yes. I think it's because I, yes. I think it's because I just need to add this darker here and more darker here. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that in a minute. Thank you.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Stepping back, just checking out everything. Just give me a minute. Okay, let's continue a little bit on the hair. I need to make this a little bit darker. Okay, now Now what about this? <laughs> I think I need to make this darker, this darker too. Okay, yes. Let's see this darker too, dark here. Move the hair here. Okay, that's better. That's better, yes. Okay, I'm squinting my eyes, I see a shadow here, shadow here, this is darker, this is darker, Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is uh, squinting my eyes, keeping thinking just about values right now because that, that's what I'm making this dark. Here it should be darker too. Okay. What is here it should be darker too. Okay. Okay, this area I think is okay. I see shadow here, really dark here, and shadow here. Okay, another shadow here. Mm, okay, stepping back, checking again. Okay, shadow here. Make it a little bit darker than this this okay <laughs> yes, let's blend.
Okay, I gotta clean up. I have to clean up the brush. Step back. Okay, okay. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Nikki. Okay. Stepping back, okay. I gotta go back and blend. You know, you blend and just do this, okay? All the time. Don't go with this brush up to this area or jump to another area, okay? The problem with blending is that we kill sometimes values, the value difference. That's why when we blend, we have to keep adding the lights again and again. And the other pro problem with blending is if we over blend, uh, sometimes we can lost volume and color. Okay. Uh, I mean, losing loose volume, that means losing the, the difference between lights and shadows. And losing color, it means that we can end up with muddy colors. Okay, now be careful uh, with you when you blend. Okay, now again, uh, stepping back. And I'm going to go with the lights again. Squinting my eyes a lot. Okay, uh, I need to light up one area here here okay, <gasps> okay. Uh, notice that I'm adding yellow ochre and black that means that I'm trying to knock down this color because I don't want this to be reddish, okay? I want to keep the reddish area here, which I gotta add more red because I think I, I have lost. When I want to add a little bit of paint or change a little bit, I just do this, the tip of the brush, and I go like this, really soft. That's okay, without changing too much I have changed uh, the value a little bit without adding too much paint and of course it, that gives give me more control yeah, because at some point when we want to add more paint uh, and let's say thick paint we have to be more precise about the mixture and since I don't want to maybe get, get it wrong with the colors if I want to make this reddish I just like do this and I do it again and I go like this okay this is one way to change a little bit the value the color 
without uh, without put put putting in danger all the work that I did on that area. Moving this eyebrow a little bit up and I'm making a little bit bigger. Okay. And here, this brow get lost. In the shadow here. Okay. What about her eyes? I think she has dark brown eyes. And I'm gonna add a little bit of orange. Here. And this is not a pure orange, you know, since I don't have pure yellow, I mean, I'm not going to be able to have a pure orange. I don't know why I remember her with uh, light eyes. I don't know why. Okay, I remember her from the movie The Joker. Eh? And because I painted the Joker a few days ago, I mean the last week, that's why I saw her. And I thought I gotta paint her. Hello, Makai 3. You came from Reddit. Awesome. Okay, David. He's saying if you're a messy painter or a messy cook, that is why it comes out great. <laughs> Nikki is saying that she's learning to stop being an over blender. Yes, yeah. I mean, it's just a, it's just uh, just with with practice. I mean, it's about controlling the brushes, controlling the pressure. Don't pressure too much on the canvas. Mm. Yes. <laughs> what Nick is, Nick is like when I add mustard to my sandwich. And it still gets on me. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay, stepping back. Um, I mean, I see her. I mean, speaking about the likeness, I see her, but uh, at the same time, I feel that something, I'm missing something. And you know that the likeness is just like having somebody next to you. Uh, it's just poking your, I don't know what, your eyes, maybe, it's just like, it's all, all, the, all the time just distracting you for everything else. That's why I try to just keep, uh, I try to give some time to the drawing aspect, some time, so a little bit of time to values, a little bit of time to color, and then likeness. But if I, I'm worried about the likeness during the whole process, I mean, that's impossible to paint. It's, uh, it's just like that. I mean, that's one thing that we have to learn to just put all the wor worry, worry that we have about the likeness, put all of that aside and paint. And think about the likeness uh, just uh, like part of the process, but not the whole process. 
Okay, I'm not saying that I don't think about uh, like I don't care about the likeness. I care about a lot about the likeness. Okay, I will try to get the likeness always. But I'm saying that I'm just don't let I don't let in the likeness to bother me that much that I'm not be able to paint to think about uh, color values and all of that because that's, that's one problem I mean uh, I have seen that in so many painters that they are so worried about okay something like oh it doesn't look like the person I mean, it doesn't look like the model and I said I mean I remember with, with some of my students I said what about the color I remember one told me, I don't care about the color, I mean, I don't, I don't get in the likeness. And I said, okay, okay, okay. And that means that you need to learn to just think like in portions. Right now I'm thinking about just, let's say, value, color, okay? And when we paint, we think about color, we got to think about temperature we gotta think uh, about the areas that we're gonna add more saturation and the areas that we're gonna desaturate the color or knock down the color maybe we think about that because uh, that's the way we add volume and then we make a stop and think for the for 10 minutes about the likeness and then we wait worry about that and then we stop and think about anything else i mean this uh, the whole uh, the process is uh, for me is better than that that i mean it's better doing it this way because that happened to me a lot of times i remember once i was painting a portrait and I couldn't get the likeness. I mean, I was working so good with the color. Yes, I was adding some green, greenish colors, some cool colors, warm colors. I was, I was working okay. But I don't know what happened that, uh, that uh, I get just kind of I mean, I started to worry about the likeness a lot and at the end of three four hours painting kind of a get close it closest close to the likeness but my painting was just one color it looks like a drawing it looked like a drawing and i said oh my god i mean i was so worried about that that i just stopped think i stopped thinking about the colors i stopped thinking about anything else i just was trying to get the person right and i learned with time that to control myself and at, at the same time i learned that sometimes we we're not gonna get the likeness and yes and i said to myself okay if i'm not gonna get the likeness sometimes i mean definitely I gotta get the proportions, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm making these areas a little bit darker. <coughs> I'm going darker just little by little, okay? I don't want to go and add a lot of black here. If I get this black, black, I mean, it's going to be just like this. Just going little by little.
to orange. Now I'm mixing a lot of alizarin crimson. I mean, it's not like a lot, but I mean, for the area that I'm gonna apply it, it's a lot. Alizarin crimson and black. Okay, I, I wanna fill this, this crimson here, this alizarin crimson here. I don't wanna feel that it's just uh, black. I need to see, uh, this reddish color here dark really dark reddish color here okay the same here And always remember the area close to the tear duct is always more reddish and but uh, no, not dark, dark, dark. Okay, here is a little bit lighter. I mean, that the rest of this area of the eye, of course. Adding this tiny highlights. work on the nose Okay, let me step back. Step. Okay, okay, okay. I need to fix it here.
Now you notice here I was working on the nose. I have this reddish color. I work below the nose. I changed to this color. I added black. Okay. Why? I mean, I said this before, but I'm repeating because I just want the nose to pop forward. Okay. I need to the nose to look transparent and come forward to us and in order to do that I gotta keep below the nose I mean this area between the nose and the upper lip more greenish greenish or just grayer I mean it's not about greenish it's about a grayer version of um, the skin color I need to blend here the neck. Looks so bad here. I'm just softening the edge here. Okay, I'm gonna check out this area here because it looks like I have to reduce this area, but at the same time, sometimes I feel that that's okay. And we're gonna have so many doubts always. I forgot to put the image back. That's the image. Okay, now. Okay, okay. Um, maybe it's not about here, it's about here. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to work in this area a little bit. Kind of with this light value. I'm going to move this shadow up. thinking right now I see here it goes like this okay that means that I change my brush I see something like this like a curve there Now, I gotta work again on the, hi the highlights. I need to see this. This is brighter. Mm, check out. Okay, okay. Mm. Mm. 
and I'm going to use black and white Okay, well, I'm using this, I mean, gray color. It's not gonna be gray, you know that it's gonna get mixed here with the skin color. Because uh, you can choose to add just this one and make these lights warmer, or you can choose what I did to make this kind of a neutral. It's not gonna be cool. Okay, it's not gonna be cool, cool because it's getting mixed with the skin color. But I'm doing this because I'm thinking that, that she's, she's outside, it's not a sunny day. That means she's, gay, she's getting lit, but the, uh, this light blue uh, skylight, okay? That means that that light blue, I mean, I don't have blue here I should add blue but that's okay I, mean, I just I don't want to move <laughs> to pick up the blue but it's working okay I mean gray works okay black and white is gray and works okay you see that's blending here perfectly and I have kind of a neutral light okay But consider that I'm blending here, okay? It's not that I'm leaving the brush stroke just gray here. That's different. I'm mixing the color here. I'm mixing the color here. It's just like mixing this here. It's gonna happen the same. What is gonna happen if you mix uh, black and white, uh, I mean gray, with the skin color? You're just going to knock down the skin color. That's it. And that's what I'm doing here. But like I said, it's just... Uh, I mean, if this is like this blue, like neutral, it's no cool, it's no warm. Or maybe if I have chosen just this one, this light ochre, it's the same, it's the same, you change it a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, at the end, I don't see like a huge difference. Now if I add a yellow ochre with a lot of yellow ochre, that's different, I mean, that, that, that changed too much, I mean, the, the light. Or if I, if I add just black and yellow, pure yellow, is the same. I mean, that's gonna be uh, too warm. I gotta change my brush. That this is what we uh, do gonna hear. People says that's the ambient light. Okay, the ambient light is not other thing that the light that is around us that is is bouncing back everywhere that change a little bit all the lights okay
Okay. I'm gonna step it back. Okay, let's see. I like it. I still see that I have some problems here. I'm going to move the hair more like reducing this area. This shadow is too dark. Maybe it's my mistake, or she has a really uh, thick neck. Oh no, it's my mistake. Pretty sure it's my mistake. I gotta move this. I need to add some blue. Okay. A little bit, just a little bit. I just feel the need of adding a little bit of blue here. Right now that I'm just uh, thinking about the image, you see this orange here, what a beautiful orange here. I think uh, <laughs> I won't get that orange, I need just pure or orange. Leave it there, yes. I'll leave it there. I'm not gonna get distracted with this. I still need to work on the face. I think this accent is okay and is enough. Think. Let's step back. Okay, I'm gonna see the her, uh, her mouth. Uh, I'm gonna read the comments. I'm scrolling up. Okay. Oh, I'm looking for some uh, any question. Thank you, Thiago. Okay. Oh, practice release key. Uh, yes, Nikki. 
Where are you from? Uh, okay, Monique, you answer it. Yes, I'm from Peru. Okay. Hello, Maji. Thank you. I mean, sorry, I cannot say your name because, I mean, it's in Arab. I cannot read it. But thank you anyway. Thank you, David McDonald. Okay. Do you speak Arabic? Uh, no. <laughs> yes. No. Sorry. I would like, I would love to speak more languages. Yes, it takes a lot of time to le learn the language. I mean, it's, it's just uh, the process that we don't, I mean, it's just, I think it, there is not uh, a point though when we see, okay, I learned the language. It just continue learning. It's kind of like the same like painting, yes? We continue, continue learning. Again, I'm going to check out on the lights, this light, this light, turn, turn. Okay, I see something that I need to add more light here. Mm -hmm. And maybe here and here too. And the lower lip, you see how light is the lower lip. That's, that's why we always have to keep a black and white image it's just easier to see values okay i think that i have to make this area a little bit darker here okay okay let's work on the nose Let's work on the nose. I think the nose is going to be. Uh, I, I, I feel that I added a, a highlight and the nose is, is different. Yes. Okay, I clean out the brush. I'm gonna pick up this more white, more white. Okay, I think I was missing this. Speaking about somebody asked me if I speak Arabic, I <laughs> remember that I had the opportunity to go to Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi or something. Oh my God, I don't remember the name. To paint portraits. Yes, I remember it. And I started to study Arabic. I started to study by myself, just watching videos. So difficult, okay? Okay, I don't remember anything. <laughs> But while we were making uh, uh, the conversation about this, it took like um, I don't know a month back and forth about 
going to Abu Dhabi for a year just to paint portraits. Dubai, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Abu, no, 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 not Dubai, Abu Dhabi, that's the name. I remember, I remember it now clearly. It's just close to Dubai. It's like one, 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 it's like seven Emirates. I don't know if I'm saying right, and one of those is Abu Dhabi. Uh, of course, at the end, I didn't go. <laughs> But that was amazing because, I mean, I started to study Arabic. It was so funny because I was painting and I was like kind of the whole day listening uh, videos in YouTube where, where I was painting. I remember it was about going there and uh, working for, I don't remember, it was kind of, uh, I don't remember like exactly, but my salary, it was, uh, uh, we were speaking about between, I mean, something like $5,000 per month and working like eight hours a day like a regular job and my wife she didn't want it because she i mean and at the end uh, there were some problems with immigration because they uh, there's a lot of a lot of paper they have to do a lot of paper work Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Always checking the values. I mean, right now I'm just, you know, that I'm not keeping any more my order, like going to the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, going like up from up, down, down. Now I'm just jumping all around the face because I'm retouching here and there. I see something wrong. Let's say here I retouch it. I see something wrong in the nose. I retouch it. Okay, I'm just jumping all over the painting, retouching here and there. At the end, speaking about that opportunity to go to paint portraits to Abu Dhabi, I mean, my family was so happy that I didn't go. <laughs> It was, I was so sad because I wanted the money. But I mean, that happened. Yeah. And the funny thing, the most, the, I mean, the, the amazing funny thing is like, this one guy, uh, one of those guys, yes, 
some, some sent me sent me some money. It was something like okay, you for your expenses, just you have a uh, like it was like uh, one thousand four hundred dollars. Yes, and I said okay, okay, yeah, yeah, you go buy uh, your clothes, whatever you need. And then when the deal was uh, over, I mean nothing happened. I remember I told him, okay, uh, what do you want me to do? I mean, do you want me to send you your money back? Or a painting, maybe? And this guy told me, I mean, what money? What money? I mean, you sent me $1,400. No, I didn't. He said, what? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I don't remember. I did it. And I said, no. <laughs> And I said, yes, you did, it, man, man, man. You don't know what you no, don't worry, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. We'll talk we will talk uh, later. Yes, because I mean I, I want you to come here and then I need to fix this and, and it, that was like a three, four years ago. Yes. The funny thing, this guy didn't remember that he sent me one thousand four hundred dollars. <laughs> Okay, I'm adjusting values here and there. I'm gonna, you see, then I'm adding a little bit of highlights here, shadows here and there, uh, a little bit to the teeth. I shouldn't say that. I, I shouldn't. Oh my God! And just, I, I think I'm gonna cut that part that I'm saying that he sent me money. Maybe one day he's gonna see the video and say, "What? Hey man, send me my money back." Oh my God! I'm going to erase this video. <laughs> and uh, lighting up here and there. Okay. Gonna read the comments. Where I'm, where I'm from, where, where am I from? I'm from Peru, Lima, Peru. <laughs> Nicky said he was a patron with plenty of money and he forgot. It was about three more, I think, four years ago. Maybe, maybe more. I mean, no more than five years ago. Arbol is asking me, uh, are you asking me if I still have the money? I mean, the money, this money that this guy gave me? No, of course not. <laughs> I remember that day, it was so funny. I mean, I said, okay, what do you, I told him, what do you want me to do with the money? I said, what, what money? I mean, I mean, I said, what? I mean, the money that you sent me, no, I didn't send you anything. I said, what? I mean, what happened? I'm working with this image here.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Just trying to go little by little with this. My squinting my eyes, trying to see values. Okay, I see the sclera is really white. I mean, I know that it's not white, white, but it's really light. Can you see it? I mean, this. Okay. I'm gonna go just little by little, light, light up this little by little. Always thinking, thinking that this is a sphere. Okay. We gotta shade, shade this like a sphere. It's not about painting this just flat. I apply paint. It's like apply a uh, a dot, a dot here, and I go around this like this, like this. That's what I'm doing here. Here a little bit too. Okay, I think that's it. I mean, and, and, I mean, that's it with the, the lightness, I think. I'm saying that, I mean, I'm not, gonna, I'm not planning to move anything. I think everything is okay. Yes, yes, I need to work a little bit on the ear. There is a reflected light here from the ear, from the earring.
Okay, I'm going to work on the hair again. To be honest, uh, I found uh, kind of difficult to work on the hair. I'm going to try to make this to create the effect. This brush is kind of stiff. I mean, this is a synthetic brush, but because it's kind of stiff, it's working perfectly for to do this. Okay, stepping back, I'll read the comments. Thank you, Monique. Thank you, Nikki. Nikki saying, I want to paint Ruth, but they're Gainsbourg. I wish you could paint her. Okay, let me take note of the name because I don't know her. Okay. Hello, Mervat. Monique is asking me, do you like to paint other people sometimes? Uh, I love the character you find in their faces. Uh, so, mm, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, it depends. Yeah? I feel like uh, it's going to take me more time just uh, working on another face. And, but definitely, uh, I have, no, I didn't, I didn't paint any, or oh, I did, I don't remember. But anyway, anyway, I will, I will, uh, eventually I will do it, I will do it. I just, I need to pick up the right, the right person. I was watching uh, an actress a, a, a few days ago. I don't remember her name, but she's from, she's English, I think. Uh, I don't remember her name. But I know, I know, I know, I mean, I, I, she's very well known. And I was thinking about painting her. And she has some really amazing, beautiful black and white photograph when she was young when she was young, but uh, I, plan I was planning to paint her at the actual, at her actual age. I don't remember her name, I mean, I'm not so good with the names. I'm gonna take out the image just for a minute here just to see the full. Okay. 
amazing here, amazing here. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't add pure black here. I don't know if you can if I add black, if you can see the difference. No, you cannot see the difference. Yes. Let's erase this here, this ear. Okay, let's see. I can't, uh, let's see what else do I need to this area. Okay, maybe I need to just soft this all this area a little bit I mean I'm gonna keep this dark I'm gonna keep this a little bit lighter Hi Mervat, how are you? Okay. R Ruth was a former justice of the Supreme Court. Oh wow, we are speaking about something in s somewhere important here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to paint. So, I mean, I usually paint actress. It's like a. Uh, I don't know. I feel like painting somebody like her. I should ask for permission. I don't know. I mean, since you know that, uh, I know that. I can paint anyone I want. I mean, if I make always a instructional instructional video, it's, that's what I know. That's what I know about copyright images and about fan art. It's kind of the same. Fan art. This is fan art because she's an actress. Uh, but painting somebody that important. I mean. I don't know. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, I keep the color subtle. I was trying to, to keep the values right. Yes, I think I did it okay. Keeping, uh, I, ch I make a change at the last time just by changing the temperature of the highlights. I don't know if you remember, I was about to paint with these colors and I changed. I add just black and white or gray, a light gray on the lights here, here, and here. Of course. You don't want to see a gray. I mean, it's, I mean, the other gray is get mixed with the skin color. Okay, I was trying to get her uh, expression that I think is mostly on her eyes and I mean, especially in I mean her mouth. I don't know why. That's what I fear. Okay. Problems that I, I was facing is, I mean, there is always a challenge painting a portrait, but especially this area. Uh, I'm comparing really hard with the uh, with the image, and I think I get it okay, but 
and no 100% sure sure that I get it okay okay I mean that's what it is I mean we always have some doubts I don't think that any painter is just it's gonna be just so precise since this is a work of back and forth we retouch and retouch and retouch Okay. Okay. Mm. I'm going to soften this area, this edge, really careful, I don't want to lose the shape of the face. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. I feel like this area should be even closer to here. I mean, I should kind of narrow this area. Okay, I think that's it. Let me know if you see something that I don't see. See, that's okay. I think I'm done. We're stepping back and just checking out. I think that's okay. This I don't want to just touch more because I mean every time they uh, we we make a correction, maybe it's gonna bring bring something else. It's gonna bring up something else to correct. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. Let me read the comments. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very what? 
you were waiting for this live stream. So sorry, <laughs> I didn't have time in the morning. It's 6 a.m. in Lebanon. Oh wow, well, it's too early. Okay, thank you. Curly hair is only good for sunny days. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here, I don't know what time is here, Nikki. Nikki. Uh, oh, it's 11. 11 p.m. 11 p.m. is, I mean, it's kind of okay for me. I just go to bed at 2 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Thank you so much, all of you. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think, is going to be the normal schedule. I hope. Okay. To be honest, I don't know if I if I'm not no, I'm not if you don't see me in the morning. Uh, definitely, I will try to make the the live stream at night. But we try to make it earlier. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.